Welcome back to my channel. It's been a while, and I'm back into some RC stuff, and I've gone down a little bit of a new rat hole. As you can tell, I've only got two wheels here. And this is a little 120th scale. Uh, it's referred to as an Allegro, uh, made by Shin Ki Wei. There's also a Top Race. There's a few companies that make this. And actually, there's two motorcycles in this class. One of them was previously... Uh, ECX Outburst and a couple other companies. That one goes slower than this one. This is the really fast version. It's got a little brushless motor in here. It has a gyro in the back wheel. Um, don't be confused by the two. There's a few key things that differentiate the slower version versus this faster version. The sidebars on this have the little clear ball. The other one has a metal side bar. And um, also this rear part here is not as fancy looking on the faster one and you can see the outer gear the one that is a little bit more realistic looking is actually the slower motorcycle oh and also the slower guy has lights on the front and back this one does not so um they trade features for those two but i specifically wanted this one because it is a little ripper this thing is so fast and it's really too fast for its own good out of the box. So the reason I'm putting up this video is I did a bit of research on these. And um, I think there's a couple modifications that need to be made to really make this thing controllable and predictable. And to sort of move it out of the goofy toy class that goes really fun. And into something that you can actually put on a track and get a little bit closer to something like a, a Mini Z Moto Racer. Now, it's never going to compete with the Mini Z. That just has a lot of functionality and fit and finish. That's just going to supersede this toy version. I got this, for example, for about $27. You can get them cheaper from places in China if you want to wait, but I'm not a very patient person. I got mine off Amazon through a Top RC was the vendor. I think it was $27, $28, something like that. A ton of fun, this thing. But out of the box, there are a few things I really recommend that you do to this bike to get it to run properly. Some of them are, are somewhat minor, but there's one in particular that I find to be very significant. And let me start with the most significant first, and that's the steering. Uh, these motorcycles, and let me show you another one here that I have taken apart and actually managed to fry the board on by crossing up some wires, but that's what you get for playing with these things. Out of the box, this uh, you know these motorcycles are supposed to have a loose steering system. They actually counter steer away to knock the bike over, and then the looseness in the steering will bring that wheel back around with the uh, leaning effect, causing you to come out of the turn. It's really interesting. It reminds me a little bit of RC drifting, which is why I sort of took interest in these motorcycles in the first place, was the sort of art, if you will, of just getting them to drive. However, uh, while you want it to wiggle like this, this motorcycle out of the box, as you can see, wiggles back and forward. And this causes a couple of issues. It creates a lot of speed wobble when you get up to high, higher speeds. The whole bike just starts to shake and wave, and it'll literally throw itself out with no um, bumps or anything on the road. It just warbles itself out. And also, the steering is just very random and loose um, and just very unpredictable. So, my fix for this, and um, I know you people out there that are a little bit more engineering oriented than I am can do this a little better, is uh, take the guy off, and you can take him out by removing this back screw here. Actually, I can screw it a little bit. Separate this just a touch so that you can get his butt out. It's got a little holder that connects in, and then you can loosen his arms up and pop your rider off. Now, you can see I've made a few attempts to get this right, but what I've done with the steering, let me get this up close and see, is I've created a rubber band to pull the steering forward this direction by pulling back on the bars up here, thus eliminating a lot of this front-to-back wiggle. Now, it's a very light amount of tension that I've put on here. I am using these hair bands that I've seen my girlfriend use in her ponytails. Um, I'm sure, again, you could do this more elegantly with some springs, something to just give that tension to pull that whole handlebar system back 
but you also don't want to put too much on there or else the steering doesn't work and the natural looseness of the wheel to return it to a turn will not happen. I've I've messed around with this as you can see. I've tried a few different hole placements here to get it to where A, it puts the correct amount of tension on here to pull the wheel back but not affect the steering. But also once you get the driver located, you'll realize he is very flat against the bike. So there's limited places you can actually put these screws. And I really had to get them to where they were right under his neck. I got some against his chest and they just wouldn't seat the rider correctly. Not a terrible thing. I just wanted him to actually be completely seated. So that worked really well. That solved the speed wobble and all of a sudden the bike has actually become controllable. Uh, you really can get it to turn when you want it to turn. It's, it's quite predictable now and a really a lot of fun. I have pilings under my house. Uh, I live in sort of a beach box house with nice concrete underneath, but I've got pilings. And instead of running into them randomly like I was at first doing, I can now actually slalom through them, make doubles, come around the whole uh, oval. It just I can actually follow a track with this. So it's really important mod that I suggest everyone do. Uh, I'd like to see a better version of that uh, with a spring or something, but that's how I got it to work. Now, there's a few other mods that I recommend that aren't necessary, but are pretty helpful. And as you can see, one of the ones I've done here is these bars, when they come out of the box, are dead straight, causing the bike to only have a little bit of side-to-side -side lean. But now, with these bars, I can really get this bike, it's hard to see with the camera angle, but it really flips almost all the way over. And I've gotten it to where this is just a fraction off the ground when it's completely tilted over. And on this side, it's so far down that I actually had to modify the driver's foot a little bit. Let me get that on camera. I don't know if that'll show. I just had to clip off some of his toe. Again, a more... Um, elegant way of doing this might be to shave some of the inside of his foot. Just the way his foot sits on the outside of this bike here causes the left leg to stick out a little further than the right. And when you drop the bike on the left side, that foot will drag and kick the back wheel up, causing it to have no drive when it's completely laid over. So by having these bars up higher, you really get the bike leaned over and you can get a lot more predictable and sharper turns. And also, these things don't work very well. The, they actually will catch on the concrete. So you don't engage them completely. And if you're really driving smooth, you won't even touch your sidebars. Future update may be to put some sort of um, different option here, maybe a ball bearing. I've seen a couple of videos on YouTube that have to do with some upgrades on this guy. Um, real quickly here, just to wrap this up, a few other minor upgrades. Look at the front wheel, or mods, I will say. My front wheel is rather loose. Now, this thing spins wonderfully. It's made out of metal. But if you tighten the forks up until it just stops the wheel a little bit, like a brake, and it doesn't roll quite as well, and then barely back it off. And again, that'll take some of the slop out of the steering, and it adds to the overall predictability. The last mod I made, and I haven't done it to this bike yet, but the suspension, while it does work quite well, is extremely stiff to the point that when you run over something with the bike, the front is fairly soft, but the rear will kick up if it hits anything significant, throwing the bike out if you're running on any sort of pebbles or pavement. Now, on this version that I uh, accidentally fried, it has a, I went into that spring that's inside of there, I don't know if it'll focus on it. The rear spring, and I cut about a millimeter, maybe two millimeters, out of that spring and replaced it. And just by shortening that spring, it's really softened up the suspension, and there's still plenty of tension to where it's completely bottomed out. But it takes about half the pressure now as it does out of the box. And before this thing, before I broke this thing, uh, it was riding very, very smooth. Now, I will caution you, if you take these apart to do this mod, you do have to remove both of the sides of the rear fork, or uh, whatever this is called. And there are a variety of wires that pass through the system here. Just use caution. Make sure you get them back in there correctly. I did something wrong. I snapped across a wire, and I plugged it in 
to test it and it smoked. So that's my fault. That's why I got two of them because I knew I was going to mess around with them. Finally, the last thing, um, one of my, this one was okay. This bike would not steer to the left, but you're able to go into the steering servo here. If you remove the front wheel, remove the parts that hold this little steering bracket together and uh, just unscrew this about halfway. You can move the gearing out and over and just realign it. Essentially, it wasn't centered correctly, so all it would do was turn to the right. And when it tried to turn left, it would just center. So I got it to where it was more set correctly to where left and right and left and right worked. And when you end up with that, you'll see the actual gears are a touch off center when you look at them. It's really hard to see, sorry. So minor steering modification. Tighten up your front wheel until it gets a little tight and then barely loosen it off just to minimize the slop. Bend up your bars to give you a little bit more angle on your turns. And then for sure, make sure and do something to pull back and tighten up that steering. You'll really have a cool little controllable 120th micro bike. Um, quite excited about this. I've actually ordered a red one just to go with the green one. So maybe some future uh, motorcycle stuff coming on the channel. We'll see. Um, thank you again for putting up with the patience. Haven't had many videos in a while, but I've been pretty busy. But during this downtime, I'm trying to find some ways to have some fun. Y'all stay safe. Thank you, and we'll see you out there.